sir i think fine we can start now okay good okay hello once again everyone thanks for joining my name is amit and uh, i have uh, around 20 years of experience uh, into networking mainly working into cisco juniper uh, webtela sd wan meraki sd wan fortinet sd wans uh, sd lans bit into aci wireless lan w lan cisco wlc access points right mpls vpns of course routing switching right we see satya also joined satya thanks for joining good morning so we have just started uh, yes sir just i'm just getting late actually <laughs> no worries uh, satya okay. it happens sometimes uh, so no uh, anything i just missed no no we we just started yeah yeah okay 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 so i'll help you understand go through the basics of sd wan advanced of the advanced topics things advancement in the sd wan what were the things in the previous codes in the running code in the upcoming codes right because you know with cisco they are continuously uh, upgrading their images right new features being added so now i have been working into this cisco sd wan for more than 5 years and uh, i have managed uh, the uh, projects which have uh, close to 1000 devices 1000 vhs cisco routers right mix of vhs and cages vhs are the webtela hardware webtela proprietary hardware and cage is the cisco router cisco hardware i'll explain in detail what are vhs cages how they are different right webtela is basically owned by it was owned by a company named webtela they developed their own hardware on chipset on set of things right what happened later cisco overtook webtela when sd wan was uh, capturing market right so i'll help you go through what are the let's say how it's linked to the production environment how sd wan is implemented into the actual production environment how it looks like in the lab environment how it's uh, managed with the cisco in terms of commercial right in terms of technical thing support uh, in case needed right so we will also touch base the related technologies let's say what is sd lan and how sd wan is related to the lan infrastructure how it looks like where sd wan stands from this in in the view let's say you are sitting in your office how you are connected to sd wan how you are connected to legacy networking right basically how connectivity look like right so we all are sitting in this now meeting so how we all would be connected how we all are connected what all devices may be there in the path right so before we dig deeper uh, may i ask you to just help me understand in brief about yourself right maybe uh, we can start with uh, upendra Uh, yeah hi everyone so yeah, hello. So I'm, uh, uh, my name is ben and i'm basically from uttarakhand and i'm working uh, in essential from last one year and i have okay. total four years of experience and okay. i work basically on routing and switching so okay. like okay. i have a uh, knowledge about uh, ospf and these protocols so okay. recently for uh, this versa is given i am working in essential but i am just in implementation part uh, because okay. most of the things are done by the client so i have okay. not that much knowledge on the sd wan part and okay so, so yes sir, go, go ahead, ahead sorry no 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 go ahead sorry yeah that's so implementation part the versa router implementation means just to on board of the uh, router on the net scaler and just to publish the profile or check mm -hmm. at the vni ports which one is up so okay. that much part okay. only make it yes sir yeah go. don't yeah, yeah. don't worry uh, because this sd wan the concept of sd wan is generic to all the flavors be okay. it elast wan be it meraki fortinet nokia versa silver peak they all inherit one common property of sd wan which is inherited from sdn that is software defined networking we will talk about it right yes sir aman hi yeah actually uh, i have almost uh, i'm from jnk and I have almost experience of one and a half year in routing and switching. Okay. Having the CCNA certified and mm -hmm. was and uh, most my domain is like a field engineer working and now I'm just moving into the STVAN because of the new technologies in all over the world. 
the mm -hmm. Steven is more relevant to the field. So that's the reason I'm more important. Okay, good. Uh, mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. Uh, when you start your career or when you have exposure to the field side of networking, right? Because I also, uh, you know, initiated my career as field engineer, uh, installing the devices onto the site, installing racks, commissioning, laying laying out lease line, following up with carriers, with loop testing, it's modem safe. installation, all those things I have done, right? So it's very helpful till this date, right? Yes, okay, yes. good, good to know. Okay, Satya? Yes, sir. Actually, I am having the 15 plus experience in, uh, and currently I'm working with the RGO, Reliance Geo, okay. in uh, okay. L2 core team and the part of L2 core team provisioning NOC. Okay. Okay. Good. And sir, uh, I'm very not uh, new in this SD WAN technology. So I'm just okay. very excited about to learn this new technology as you know, for, to, for the future growth. Like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, good, good. You are at right place, I must say. Okay. Yeah, I'm already uh, joined for this uh, Palo Alto also. One uh, regular okay. purchase Perfect. is going on. Yeah, nice. Yes. In weekend, I just joined for the SD WAN, but this is not comfortable. I already counselor. I already told to my counselor that my shift, my job is like a in shift basis, right? I am currently mm -hmm. okay. in shift. So it's okay. very difficult. Saturday, Sunday, I think two Saturday, Sunday, I have the holidays, but rest was already on. Malab, alternate day, week off is there, right? A few understand. days, we have the week off in Friday and Sunday. Some is Saturday, Sunday. Understand your point. Understand. Uh, but I would say it's about, let's say, one and a half month or two months. So about eight weekends, if you could somehow manage, right? Because you have recordings as well. See, in, in this but at this point of time in this competitive world, you might not get, you know, totally free time for all these <laughs> things, right? I am just, having, I am just currently something. working work from home right now. And yeah, just I uh, receive one call for the network change. And just a moment, Satya. I'm monitoring to... this also and this also. Class as well. Two okay. laptops is there. Okay. Official is alert. Okay. Uh, understand. Austin is alert. Just, just a moment. moment. Satya, just a moment. minute guys sorry uh had some problem with headset okay so uh let's quickly uh raghav can you quickly help us with brief introduction about yourself hello hello everyone good morning sir yes yeah good morning uh, total i have five plus experience in the networking field uh, okay. and i have already done from networking uh, ccna and ccnp now okay. I'm enrolling in SD WAN technology is completely okay. new for me. And uh, one year experience I have as a field engineer. At, Good. Uh, as a telecom, in a telecom. And uh, like 2.5 year experience in Dubai Metro as a communication engineer. And uh, one year experience in a, as a NOC engineer in Airtel. 
and now good. i'm working in orange business services good go okay okay as a l1 engineer yeah. for suta good good, good. yes Perfect. thank you yes. okay okay thank you abhishek uh, yes sir yeah go ahead please actually i i am joined uh, recently so can you repeat the question so it's we are still uh, you know doing just a round table uh, introduction okay yeah, yeah you can just quickly help us understand in brief about yourself actually uh, i am having a nine in 9 years of experience in networking and i am okay. the uh, i have done ccna ccnp and rc okay. from network okay. from networking and mm -hmm. uh, i have uh, joined uh, sd1 for uh, uh, increase my knowledge in mm -hmm. in in networking field and uh, actually sd1 is is uh, currently implemented in my organization so mm -hmm. i need to know a uh, little more about okay it. okay good good i yeah. got you yeah thanks yeah thank you okay so takshi Um, yeah, hi, I'm Atam Shatakshi. I have almost ten years of experience, and I'm currently working Good. in Infosys as a lead consultant. I lead the cloud and networks team. And Perfect. since we're just moving from, you know, now from cloud to SD and kind of, right. you know, teams of right. find networks, so I need to understand, you know, get an understanding yes. for SD and as such. That's yeah, definitely. Doing. We'll touch uh, the cloud things as well. Good. Okay, thanks, Virendra. Uh, hello uh, yes sir. so yes uh, good morning to everyone uh, myself virend and i have a 15 plus years of experience currently i am a pack operation head for one of the client and okay. i am handling with voice everything now just uh, okay. i need to understand as the way because in uh, as everybody's organization as the one is going to be implemented so that's regarding i joined this class okay nice shivam yes. Hello, sir. Am I audible? Yes, Shivam. We can hear yes, you. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, sir. Thanks for the opportunity, and I really appreciate you are sharing the good amount of knowledge. So I'll good. tell myself a uh, brief about myself. Uh, my name is Shivam. I am currently working in a uh, ISP based on uh, based in Australia. That is Vertel. So I have mm -hmm. four years of experience. So I have worked as a L1 service desk. now i am mm -hmm. uh, as a knock engineer so i recently mm -hmm. encountered some knowledge gaps um, in my i have studied ccna ccnp and currently mm -hmm. studying uh, with with the help of uh, atul sir in his batch okay yeah yeah good yeah so there's a knowledge gap which uh, in my current organization i am having to just upscale myself uh, good. there's a nuaj nuaj uh, sd van nuaj yes yeah on which we are working and i am also working as a fortinet um, support engineer in my current organization in which they 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 same have the sd wan technology uh, included in their uh, device so you yeah, are looking forward to learn from you sir and your guidance would be really helpful for me okay okay good thanks okay then i'll start sharing my screen okay please let me know in case anyone if you don't see my screen sorry i can see visible sir okay. visible okay. see good good yeah just a moment sir sorry i joined uh, late uh, what will be the batch time uh, if i uh, if i enroll for this course yes, this is a weekend batch and the timing is 11 am morning 11 am to 12 not 12 it's approximately 2 2.5 hours class okay and what's the so just a demo session so we have just uh, going to deliver approximately around 90 minute but for the uh, uh, what, what will be the course length sorry what will be the course approximately 15 people course length uh, how many okay. weeks or oh months? it's it's around 40 40 to 50 hours okay thank you so much 2.5 months uh, hi this is satish actually hi yes yes satish hello satish yeah, yeah. yeah so, so. Uh, <laughs> okay no uh, uh, how long it will take to complete the course actually this one 2.5 months 2.5 months okay fine okay thank you uh, i'm going to continue now 
Okay. Just a moment. Okay. Anything else, anyone? Any question before we start? Yeah. No? Uh, okay. Amit, actually, I do yeah. have one question. Yes. So will we be covering uh, like uh, for this course or uh, in this course? Will we be covering uh, the whole architecture of SD WAN? Absolutely. Like the cloud on ramp and the uh, absolutely and everything where edge, the yes. edge, the edge and everything. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. The edge, the edge, cloud on ramp, SAS, right? Okay. Multi cloud. If you have seen this thing, uh, cloud on ramp for multi cloud, it needs yes, I did. the cloud side of things as well, right? This we would be covering in theory only. SaaS we would be covering both theory and practical as well. Okay. 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 So I have exclusive uh, syllabus things as well. The, all those topics that we will cover, we I also have with me. I'll share with you. Sir, sorry to interrupt one more thing. I'm really sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, will this batch be for a beginner in SD-WAN technologies or we need some experience or prerequisite? Anyone who has basic understanding about routing okay. and you don't need anything else. All right. I'll help you understand in brief about the basics, very basics, prerequisites. I, I don't, I am not in hurry to start SD-WAN, right? I need everyone to be in sync about what are the prerequisites before you go to you know, SD-WAN class, like control plane, data plane understanding, right? Overlay yeah. tunnels, underlay tunnels. Underlay, so I'll overlay. explain all those prerequisites before. Right? Absolutely. Thank but you so much. Then sir. only we will go into SD-WAN, yeah. Good, good. Thank Thanks you for asking, yeah. Anything else, anyone? Okay, good. So anyway, wherever we need, uh, it is needed. I'll explain even the routing part of things as well, right? VLANs, switching, wherever it is needed, I'll touch base. Okay. Okay. Now, if you see my screen, SD-WAN software defined. At any point, if you have any question, anything related, feel free to interrupt. Okay. Software defined wide area network. This is SD WAN. So we are. Sir, can you please increase so, the font size a little bit? Sure, sure. Yes. Better? Ah, yes, sir. Okay, thanks. So SD-WAN is software defined wide area network. So basically we are using software based approach. To handle. WAN to manage WAN or to optimize WAN. Because if you see in legacy networking, we cannot really mix the WAN links. If you have one link. MPLS, other as ILL, other as wireless link, let's say LT. Don't worry. If you are not even comfortable with these terminologies, what is MPLS link? I'll explain this as well. Okay. What is MPLS link? What is ILL, Internet Lease Line? What is LTE? LTE is basically 4G, 3G, 5G link. Okay. So I'll explain the difference in these links as well, how they are. But all these three, they are different types of link. It is really difficult next to impossible to utilize all these three links concurrently in legacy networking. But in SD-WAN, you would not even notice if the we are running our network on one type of links or several different types of links, right? This is the advantage we have with SD-WAN that we can, because in legacy networking, what happens? MPLS link is expensive though it's reliable it's reliable and secure okay ill link it's not secure but it's you can say economical 
So there are compromised sort of things like when you want security, like because most of the banking customers, banking clients, they are not inclined to go towards the SD WAN. Why? Because SD WAN is designed basically for the internet WAN links, the WAN links which are based on the internet and banking clients, they don't trust the internet links. Second link, second problem with the internet links is the performance. Because what is internet? It is collection of multiple ISPs, right? What is internet? It is a connection it's... of multiple ISPs when they're speaking to them. So if this is, I say internet, right? It can be provider level three ISP. It can be cold. It can be BT. It can be Tata. So all these providers, they have peering across them. They are, have peerings with them. This is internet. You may be having your internet line from Tata broadband, dedicated lease line for internet. What happens when your internet link is connected to a provider, you are connected to a Tata. Let's suppose if we talk about your broadband, right? This is your broadband router at house. You are somewhere sitting here. From your PC, when traffic packets go to this broadband router, this broadband router, it sends this data to Tata router, Tata Edge router. From there, it depends if the destination is hosted on BT network or cold or level three. This is how internet is. I have only shown you four ISPs, but it can be more than 100 or 200 ISPs. Because again, ISPs, they have their scale as well, like tier one ISP. So level three cold, they are tier one ISPs, right? Tier two ISPs, tier three ISPs. So sort of these things, right? So we can merge, we can use multiple different links. We can combine them in SD-WAN. So SD-WAN is derived from SDN, which is software defined networking, right? So SDN is software defined networking. The concept of SDN is to separate control plane. I'll explain in detail about these planes as well. How, what are they, right? And management plane. Why we, basically why we need to separate the control plane or data plane or management plane? Because people who have been working into networking, you might relate on a router if your OSPF process is causing high CPU or if your BGP process is causing high CPU, what happens? Your router remains, your router goes unreachable, right? You cannot even log into the router remotely. Now, in this way, what is this BGP and OSPF? They are part of control plane. Sorry. So, OSPF and BGP, they are part of control plane, okay? And the login to the router, remote SSH, remote telnet, it is part of management plane. Okay? So, telnet or SSH to the device is part of management plane. The routing protocols, routing information handling is part of control plane. Actual forwarding of data. The user who is sitting behind this router is sending the data to the router and we are learning the routes and the packets which are destined towards the routes, routing information which we have learned via OSPF or BGP. Let's say if I learned a subnet 10, 10, 10 slash 24, right? So now, the traffic which is destined towards this subnet, that is part of data plane. Actual routing information is just control plane. The traffic to this subnet is data plane and the login to the device, telnet or SSH is part of management plane. Do you understand the difference, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, you told that OSP BGP is a part of control plane. So, this is a routing yes. table will be 
forming in the control plane yes okay only the traffic will be moving from the data plane right 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 fib forwarding information base uh, that is data plane right yeah yeah correct rib routing information base is control plane okay fib forwarding information base is part of data plane what you got what you got what you got okay yes now the purpose the core concept of sdn is to separate these three different planes so that in case there is any issue in control plane it won't impact data plane or management plane how it is done by abstracting this control plane feature to all together a different device in sd wan there are three components which are these three components they are collectively called as controller okay in this one of the component is handling control plane alone one device it is dedicated for control plane for whole network it can be one router and device one and device it can be two three or it can be thousand devices for thousand devices this device would only be handling all sort of control plane information what does that mean any prefix in the lan side any subnet any lan subnet which is connected to a router or end device let's say vh or ch that prefix would be advertised to this control plane device it is just like rr every device must share its lan information lan subnets to route reflector or this control plane component now job of this component is to reflect this route to other all devices we can customize this thing that we want that this route should be sent to x device or y device so this is basically achieved by separating the control plane anything anyone so far so this is the concept of sdn to separate three different planes now the beauty of sd wan is that what if this control plane device goes down what would happen these devices are independent of these controllers the controllers are just control plane management plane the connectivity between the end devices would keep they would keep talking to each other even if this control plane component down or all controllers go down so these devices they are offloaded of handling the routing information these devices they do not talk to each other in terms of control plane information they do not exchange routing between them routing is cascaded communicated towards this control plane component but not towards the these devices these devices they only talk to each other in terms of data plane so if the okay. controller has gone down how do they keep on uh, keep they have continuous? information stored in their devices there is timer called graceful restart timer or graceful time right by default this time is 24 hours we can make it to maximum 7 days so by default 24 hours so in case this controller component this control component which is called v smart in case it remains more down for more than 24 hours then this data plane connectivity between these devices would be lost but till 24 hours let's say at this point of time this control plane component it went down till tomorrow same time these devices can talk to each other these devices can utilize that stale information for 24 hours okay we can increase it to 7 days so does it answers your question sir uh, will it be able to uh, forward the packets or just the management thing will be there because if controller goes down the network is affected right so no no so controller it is a name for these three components this is control plane component only this is management plane when i say management plane remote login to the devices via telnet ssh is done from management plane device right now second thing remote configuration if you want to push any remote configuration 
any reporting alarms logs so a software upgrade so all those sort of things they are done via management plane device are you uh, is your device any way impacted with these things for live traffic handling no right yes. your devices can still talk to each other i'll show you we will reboot all these three controllers still our devices would be talking to each other we will see this as well got oh, it sir so okay. uh, if you are telling that the control pen plate went down so even we are mm -hmm. able to access all these uh, foreign devices right so when you say access it's a product so because there can be different type of accesses right console connection to the device that anyway is available right okay. and remote login is again broader term because the remote login can be from this device it can be from management plane device right so the connectivity the login from this device would be available in case management plane device is down but in case this device if we assume is down then one way would be lost to log into the device or we cannot remotely push the configuration because see management plane it's not just telnet or ssh this is one of the example right other things like reporting alarms syslogs ios upgrades those all tasks we do from management plane device which is called v manage now in case this v manage device is down we cannot log into the device from v manage but we can still log in via console or from other devices uh, other devices we separately we can log in these devices yes but, uh, but we, we can't make any changes in terms of configuration right if we try to log in it via console it depends i would say see we can make changes to the device but there are conditions we will go through that because there are different ways through which we can make the configuration remotely it depends which way are we are using in one of the way when we manage is down we cannot make any changes in other way we can do that i'll explain yeah. we will talk about it yeah. in detail I mean, i mean for typical drive like for, for example like if my controller goes down so for 24 hours or 7 days it will take decision on the basis of stored uh, right stale information uh, database right the, right. the stored database but right. uh, like like if we want to change uh, certain things in our configuration or uh, in our routing base so mm -hmm. it will uh, we, we can't no. do that right? no. until no. the there would not be comes up. right there would not be any new update it would be right. just the previous information because okay. ultimately control plane is the task is to exchange the routing information so until vsmart comes in you cannot exchange new updates got it right can you table in legacy network and how will work legacy and sdv network like or the difference like uh, i'll explain the differences as well i'll show you what are the key challenges that we have in legacy networking and how they are countered in sd wan i'll draw a hard solid line on left hand side legacy network on right hand side sd wan network what are the challenges in legacy networking and how they are covered in sd wan okay okay thank you yeah <laughs> anything else anyone so on high level do you understand the concept of control plane data plane management plane on router all these planes are unified you cannot really see three different components although on newer hardwares you see that because let's say on asr routers cisco asr or juniper routers or maybe elcatel right huawei there are routing engine this component routing engine on device on router it's solely it is handling control plane solely handling control plane side of things and in uh, cisco asr what is that called uh, uh, qfp i think right quantum flow processor so it is handling data plane somehow they have tried to separate the control plane and data plane but still they are part of same device right somehow they are still related okay just a moment
Okay. So this is about one of the use case of SDN, which is to separate control plane, data plane, and management plane. These concepts are used in SD WAN as well as SD LAN. software defined local area network what is this as sd wan is for wan side of things sd lan is for lan side of things okay let me uh, clean it up a bit so that because it's it has become messy so anything anyone so far All good, okay. sir. All good. Okay, perfect. So if I say this is my controller, or I would say SD WAN controller, right? There is another thing called as SD LAN controller. What is that? Anybody? DNA, DNA center, DNAC. So now, if I say these are my end devices, B edges, C edges, right? This is my WAN link, WAN ISP. It can be one. There can be multiple ISPs, right? If I assume they are connected via WAN links to this ISP, right? My controller also needs WAN connectivity. So there would be end router, which is connecting these controller components. We smart, we manage to and devices right now these are the solid lines are the van links it can be one more than one okay they can be same isps across different sites or they can be different isps they can be mpls links they can be internet links like on one side of on this side it is quite possible that it is mpls link on other side it is internet link and here it is lte link can you imagine this connectivity in legacy environment three different sites having three different links how you can connect them in sd wan it is very much simplified although you can connect in legacy networking as well but it's too complex in sd wan it is simplified that you would not even notice that you are connected via different type of links Okay, now SD WAN boundary is this one. This is SD WAN. Now, anything beyond what type of device you expect behind the WAN routers or end devices? Can someone tell me what do you expect behind WAN routers? What do you have in legacy networking? Let's say the uh, LAN network. Yes, switches, core switch distribution switch access switches right access points wlc's right so all those components are remotely managed via dna center although it needs connectivity already so ip reachability is needed from dna center to end devices but the job of dna center is to manage these devices remotely Automation for LAN side of devices. SD WAN is automation for WAN side of devices. Do you understand the difference? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Yeah, we are Okay. Good. So DNA center, it is usually called as DNAC as well. It is software defined LAN local area network. Sorry. So SD LAN is for LAN side, the implementation of SDN into the LAN is SD LAN. Implementation, sorry, implementation of SDN into WAN is SD WAN. And implementation of SDN into data center is ACI, application centric infrastructure. Okay, SD WAN, SD LAN, and ACI. 
all these three are derived from SDN concept to separate different planes. Okay, now I'll go and explain. So I'll go explain uh, different legacy and SD WAN thing, right? How, what are the limitations of the traditional networking? And how it's covered? Say, this is my legacy side of things. And this is my SD WAN. In legacy, if I jot down based on the numbers, right, number one, can we remotely push the configuration? Can we remotely make remotely uh, remote configuration changes? Can we do that in legacy networking? Yeah, possible. Yes. How? SSH, telnet, using those applications. So that is just login to the device. But yeah. if you want to, let's say, change the IP address remotely. You are sitting on your NMS, that black screen, putty, right? Yeah, putty, CRT. Yeah. yeah sitting can you, sitting. sitting just there, can you make the changes onto the end device? No, no. In that way, it is In our environment, we cannot change remotely anything. Yeah. Taking the remote of devices is different thing. Huh? We can change using scripts. Yeah. Python, Ansible, or any other scripting through which you connect to the router, right? But that is not that much easy. For that, you need to be expert in Python or whichever scripting that you are using, right? Now, in SGVN, we can achieve it based on few GUI clicks. You would just make few, you would just Let's say if you want to change the IP address, you would select a drop down that you want to change IP address. It will ask you, tell me the new IP address, just input new IP address that this is the IP address that I want to change it to. It will ask you the interface name, device name and push. By just clicking this push button, you can push the configuration remotely onto the one device, single device, two devices, or thousand devices. Okay. So we will see that how it's done. Okay. So number two, remote iOS upgrades or upload have you ever done the ios upgrade or ios upload on the end devices on the routers VHS? yes sir it is yeah, possible yeah, we did, yeah. but uh, it requires a server or dedicated platform but can you upload the new ios image to 50 devices parallelly how you do that? In time. Okay. It will do no, one at a time. Not possible. Yeah, to again, upload. it is possible using scripting in legacy networking. Yeah. But one again, time. yeah, no, no. Even with scripting, you can upload to multiple devices parallelly. But for that, you need to aware about scripting. Okay. In SD WAN, just a matter of few clicks. You can upload the image. You can activate new image on multiple devices concurrently. Yeah, this in uh, but different tool is there to upgrade this IS, IS through SD WAN. This is like Swing is using I think this for ASR routers. So, so you can even integrate open standard tools to SD WAN to use. Let's say when I say open standard tools. One of the example is Python. You can even use Python to integrate to SD WAN to push configuration to end devices. What is the example Amit, for this? Mm -hmm. So, Amit, I just got very like my this SD WAN is uh, at uh, in data center, and I wish to upgrade the branch routers. So that okay. you are saying with this tech, with this 
help of SDO and technology, it is possible. Means I, I, I should not inform to anyone to local to available. It, it is possible right. remotely from SDO. That's what you are saying, right? Right. right. Okay, and at at the same at the same time, you are saying that fifty uh, fifty devices can be done remotely at the same time. Yes, we, we have yes. the automation tools uh, where we can push the configuration even like uh, thousand devices with uh, more than thousand devices through the script only. This uh, auto HPNA and this automation tool is there. Through this, we oh. already push the BJP and uh, common configuration on the this uh, more than the thousand devices in the same so time. What what are the other tasks that you can do with that tool apart from pushing the configuration? Okay, uh, sorry, I just got another query. During this, uh, during this activity, what would the impact of traffic like? It will increase the bandwidth during the pushing this iOS one upgradation, something like that. Yes, it will, and it is just like see if you are sending, if you are communicating on this call, right? You cannot really decrease the bandwidth that is needed to exchange the packets, right? Right, but right. it is still helpful. It is still fruitful that you have automated way of uploading the image and activating the image, right? Okay. And even let me tell you another advantage. What happens in Cisco router if you uploaded image onto the device and activated iOS image, right? Activated new image onto the router. And after, let's say, because let me tell you one actual production scenario. On Cisco ISR 4000, you have 16.x iOS version running. Now, if you upgrade your iOS ISR 4000 to any new iOS version than 16.x, let's say you go to 17.x. Now, what happens now here? In 17.x, there are certain commands which are not supported, which you were using in 16.x. Okay. Due to these, I lost access to the device after upgrade. What would you do in this scenario? You haven't sent engineer onto the site. You are simply remotely upgrading your device. What would you do when you lost the device? When you, sorry, lost access to the device? What would be the next step to restore the connectivity? Again, you have to log in. the is there way to re revoke the changes? You have to send okay. some engineer on side and connect with the other laptop. Console, yeah, console and we need to again update. Thinking about, thinking about you are sitting in the automation world, what is the ideal expectation? What should happen? By default. Uh, in our uh, production environment, what is wrong? Na? We can roll back from the remote also. Um, on on uh, which uh, platform you said we can rework? Rework like uh, whatever we changes made now in ASR routers there is a facility to roll back. But from the is it remotely. is it about the iOS upgrade? Uh, we I think we are doing some uh, routers on iOS iOS upgrade. But rollback is not uh, done right now. Right. So I, I think it is an option. In SD WAN, there is default feature. In case anything like this happens, it would roll back even the iOS upgrades in 15 minutes. Oh, that's great. Some, some commands, uh, uh, share, I think, shared by the Cisco team, there is some issue. We actually, what we did before doing this such activity like iOS, iOS upgrade, na, they uh, given rights to pre and post check. Once we done the iOS upgradation, then pre-log we already there, right? Then after upgradation, we take the post-log and check where is the difference. Like services, we match with the pre-log and post-log. Then we identify the services which is down, then we will uh, work on this and take this uh, to the concern team and uh, services uh, after restore these services with the con uh, talk to the concern department. Right. So this is another advantage. This. I only talked about changes, even it is applicable in SD-WAN for the normal changes as well. Let's say you made any IP address change or uh, any uh, route uh, change. Is... Sorry, go ahead. 15 minutes is, 15 minute is time limit uh, to roll back yes. in SD-WAN? Yes, yes. It waits for 15 minutes that after iOS upgrade, in case anything goes wrong, 
so router expects that if it auto corrects in 15 minutes or even if you have console access to correct that router allows you that time right because there there could be this scenario as well that you are sitting locally to the device as well you have console to the device as well because there can be two situations right we are assuming that there is nobody on the site but there may be the case when field engineer is on the site right uh, because they let, are let we take in automation that field engineer is not on the site i upgrade right. the ios and the site right. um, uh, command is not ex executed in new ios i lost the device so right. it's the countdown start uh, 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 15 minutes yes uh, yes okay. after right after device is up after 15 minutes, I am not able to re, uh, right. reload. I, sorry to disturb. Oh. Actually, there is a commit statement is there. No? Before, uh, if everything is uh, going in the right way, then uh, 15, it would give the some time where we can uh, identify our services. If we not uh, give the commit command, it will roll back to the previous configuration, right? If once we check all yeah. this, okay, then we will uh, apply the commit command uh, there. Commit, then it will take the all the changes, right? That that way is working. So Satya, you are talking about other changes like IP address or route change, right? For iOS upgrade, we don't do commit, right? Yeah, well, how to know the device after two minutes? We will go to rip or rip, uh, uh, like hold OS need to like. Uh, and, uh, so before we upgrade our box right we can tell to device that what is my default ios version that in case anything goes wrong to which ios this device should reboot to just like boot system statement is what we have in cisco router right so my 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 point is before upgrade your current version your current version is 16.x and you are there is another thing called as default version if that default version is also 16.x then you re, you activated you upgraded your device to 17.x now what happens in this scenario your when you upgraded your, your device device rebooted when it came up there the everything we lost to access to the device the van connection the control connection the connectivity to management plane to v manage was down then what this device will do it will wait for 15 minutes if still connection to v manage remains down then it would roll back the ios upgrade and it would boot to 16 dot i would say let's say whichever is the default version yeah yeah got it you got it okay. Okay. okay and you can have you can have 16 dot x 16 dot y 16 dot z these three versions sorry uh, satish uh, could you mute please okay thanks so if you have three ios images on the device right before upgrading and you have current version 16.x but default version if you make it 16.z then this device would boot to 16.z do you follow this we can have current version different than the default version as well we can change that and we must change this thing Amit, I also confused about the third point and that uh, in SD when without uh, Python uh, the task will be complete, then why we need Python here? You mean in SD when or in legacy networking? No, no, in SD when. This right, let me tell you an example. So, are you working in service provider environment or are you kind of, uh, you are working in client environment? Uh, service providing. Okay. So now I am customer X. I have purchased services from Colt. Colt is managing my SD WAN service. My all 
thousand sites are managed by Colt. They are managing my SD WAN. Thousand sites, right? What if I want to add one subnet to fifty sites? How you do that? You go to provider. You raise a change request. You raise a CR. You share route information that add this route information on my fifty sites. Would it be good if you yourself get this access to add routes on fifty sites? Is it possible? Even though Colt is managing your infrastructure, your all WAN devices, but still you can have remote access to make small changes like route addition, interface shut, no shut, bandwidth changes. Would it be good? Uh, it will be good, uh, but I think uh, okay. It's the authority part, right? Yes. So this is your V manage. Your controller. Mm -hmm. This is a box, which is kind of GUI portal access to customer. Customer would log in to this portal. This Colt would provide certain features here, certain fields that if you want to make IP address change on which site, if you want to add a route on X Y site, right? This customer would put up this information. This information would would be pushed over to Colt SD WAN controller, which is managed by Colt. This is where need of integration of Python comes in, even with SD WAN. This is one of the example. Okay. Are we good? Uh, uh, can you repeat it again? Uh, elaborate a little bit. Sure. sure. I'll erase it because uh, it would be final. Uh, Topic for the day. I know we have few queries on chat. I'll answer those queries right after this, right? So this is my controller. What happens in controller? There are three components: control plane, we manage, we smart, right? Now we have end devices: one, two, three, four, five, six. So when I say Colt is managing my SD WAN environment, what does that mean? that all these van devices they are under the cold control i don't have as a customer i don't have access to these devices i just connect a core switch i can only connect core switch to this router even this interface would be configured by cold cold is having access to these devices customer themselves they don't have access to this they can simply connect core switch they can do whatever they want in this lan infrastructure right now on this router if you want to add one new lan subnet new route if you want to let's say change bandwidth ip address any sort of change you need to do on any device in managed environment when isp is managing your network right you need to raise a change request to provider this provider what they would see they would ask they would give you a one defined format that please add in this format all this information right then what Colt would do? They would assign their engineers in specific time to make change. That engineer would see that yes, I am available now. They may take two hours, four hours, right, to even make small change, right, even to shut no shut the interface. I am customer one. I am sitting here. I need my WAN interface or LAN interface to be bounced once, ARP table to be cleared, right. These small examples. I need to wait these three four hours for isp to come in and then clear the app table because as a customer i don't have access to the device to make any change right now these days customers want these you know level of automation that they want that i should have one portal where i i would simply log into the portal and i would push the command that command would be pushed similarly sim simply to let's say we manage and from we manage it we pushed over to the end device it is about automation so customer need not wait for provider to kick in their engineer to validate the configuration well engineer doing anything engineer is busy with activity they will do it later sort of to avoid these things customer wants that these are the non impacting changes i want to do it myself right uh, so it's only for known impacting changes uh, mm -hmm. in multiple devices like uh, clearing or right so it can be uh, like complex changes as well it's just that how your e bonding is built up between we manage to the this portal i um, uh, because yeah. mm -hmm. go ahead sorry yes uh, 
like in uh, sp sometimes the and device if managed by the service provider they not uh, allow customer to do any change in that right yeah right. read read access and like clear right. up, uh, such type right. of access they provide so uh, this i just so gave example of clearing up right yeah so it's also we can also provide that thing in legacy networks then what is the advantage of sd wan so in legacy networking yes. do, you, do you provide remote access to the customer to make any changes remotely uh, to uh, to view all the changes uh, uh, we can make, provide make the configuration changes to make the configuration no. changes how you allow it, to customer depend, uh, uh, it's depend with the device managed by customer or us if we manage so, by us then we not right so even if see there still technically it is feasible it is just process wise limitation security thing that providers do not provide access to customers but technically it is feasible right but again right in legacy networking there is there are two routers that you provide access to customer that you can make configuration changes remotely right but here you need to have granular control how you would control that customer should only be able to add ip route but not shut no shut can we do that yes how uh, we, uh, like uh, we can create some credential in which we only provide a specific uh, access to the customer right now let's suppose you created the credentials but how would you granularize granularize these commands that which commands are supported or not you can create a login which would have let's say level 7 level 3 access but how you can control even in level 7 the commands i think in level 7 also we define the command that this will be executable or this will be not allowed have you seen this uh if someone is not speaking can you uh, please mute yourself so have you seen flow monitor do you know about yeah. flow monitor so this yes. is one command to see yeah. the actual flows source ip destination ip then port number then qs value time stamps right this command if you the control that you are talking about using privilege command right you can only write in that privilege command show flow monitor but using flow 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 monitor you can run on cli too many things you can see top talkers you can filter the output based on the source ip or destination ip right now in privilege mode you simply write slow flow monitor stats customer cannot see anything other than this i faced this problem in one of the project customer asked me that i want to run the command myself i want to see top talkers it is not feasible at all although we can define some commands in pre using privilege command but that is not catering to 100% side of things it does not cater 100% in sdbn it is whatever command whatever thing customer wants to do they can do it remotely okay in the middle we can uh, allow some command or block some command <laughs> yes because the, the command like in read only or write only what will be the executable or what will be not we defined it right. in once and after right. that we not change anything right but you say in as divan we can make change in any time right right and uh, same command will be executed in multiple uh, device Yes, we can. We can control that if this command should be executed on one device or multiple devices. Okay. So, uh, in multiple uh, for executing multiple device, same command, SD WAN itself is capable of that, or we require Python script in this. Both ways. So, if, uh, I mean, it's capable by itself, then why we need Python? I mean, say it's. button of configuration or script so or when you are running way. so so see when you are running python right mm -hmm. to your mm -hmm. controller right if you are connecting a python box to your controller right 
if this is a box which is having python script if this is a box which is sd wan controller so this sd wan thing is optional it is not mandatory this communication it is optional to just make use of the things which are still not available in sd wan by default to utilize those things as python script okay okay you mean say lan user uh, run python script and uh, Right? No, 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 no. This is not LAN user. This is provider. Uh, okay. So, Manu, who is speaking? Uh, is this Sandesh uh, or? Perfect. So, your name is by PK, right? Right. okay so i was trying to mute okay so what i was saying the python when you say customer is sitting on his pc this pc would yeah. have access to internet via internet they would access the website one url which would open this portal this is the portal managed by whosoever is providing this sd wan service okay customer is simply accessing one website to make changes so this is customized portal shared by provider it can be different for cold it can be different for entity or it can be the case that x provider is even not having these services this is just optional thing automation just okay okay so sandesh are you still there Sandesh is in sleeping mode. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I also feel so. Anyway, we are almost done. So, any question, anyone else? Otherwise, I'll let me look at the chat. So, on SD1, we will also have a dashboard to see all the yes, uh, live yes, yes, monitoring yes. of the branch. branch yes, order, right? yes. So, I okay. only covered 30% of the things, comparison ah, okay. of the legacy okay. and SD1. We are still left with the 70% just because of the lack of the time. So, I'll explain. Uh, there are too many things still the advantages we have as i said only 30 percent there are many more things we will actually, talk about yeah, I again, right? most of the uh, this today class part actually okay so uh, can i uh, refer your video it is available in recording yes now, right? yes so, yes actually so, uh, so whatever we have talked about today we will talk about again as well it was just a high level overview of the things Tomorrow the we same time the class will happen. Yes, 11 to 1. Okay. So, it was just kind of a demo class, right? We'll have right. a right. Absolutely. manner. From Absolutely. The don't worry. If you even missed anything, even if you joined late, don't worry. Everything would be covered again in detail, each and everything. Whatever questions you have now, you can keep it with you you can cover it tomorrow you can ask now right or even after we you know initiate our batch so we have a networking support team who are available uh, for any queries any questions lab assistance right i am also available on email and whatsapp group i'll create whatsapp group once everything is sorted right so that uh, whenever you have any question query you can put me there it's just that on whatsapp i can answer on best effort basis but i'll try to respond as soon as possible actually i just uh, i had the i having the more of questions about this difference between this uh, legacy network and this sd1 network please tell me so i'm just no no i'm just go through the videos what you sure. actually sure. to explain sure. today and right. just keep my question with us and tomorrow the same Absolutely. time we'll the... so actually, tomorrow so, uh, today is my some issues with my my actually my work is parallelly going on so I'm not... i understand i understand no worries so you can capture all your queries right what you can do we will talk about these queries after the class tomorrow right so that we utilize the class no, 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 time for everyone a... right yeah yeah, 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 yeah. thanks 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 yeah. So whatever related to the ongoing topic, you can ask right away. If there is anything different, then better I suggest to ask after the class. Right? 
Sir, can you uh, share your LinkedIn? Can we connect on LinkedIn, please? If possible. I'm sorry, I I even don't have LinkedIn profile. I am away from the uh, these right social media and these uh, portals. So no worries, sorry for no this. Worries. Yeah, yeah. No yeah, worries. Yeah. Sir. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, you're welcome. Yes, yeah, sir. Actually, yeah. Sorry, come again. Uh, time, time duration of this course. Time duration. See, I don't want it to be fixed. It's very much flexible. It depends upon the pace, right? How things are going. So usually it concludes in approximate two months or two and a half months. But it again depends upon pace. We are okay to stretch it to three months. We are okay to you know pre pawn it to two months. It depends upon everybody, right? It should not be fixed in my view, right? It's weekend day. Daily is it is two hours or two and a half hours? How how it is? Two hours. Two hours daily on weekends, Saturday and Sunday, two hours. So, Amit, are you going to share the topic, or you are going to say you are going to cover default topic of the Cisco as given as per the blueprint, or you have something different topic? You mean topics, right? Yeah. So, it's kind of blueprint only. I'll share with you all the course details. I'll share with you ebook. Okay. I'll share with you lab guides, okay. right? Everything is there. Don't worry. Okay, I'm and uh, it's better to go by like this your syllabus wise, uh, day by uh, what we are going to cover in next day and right. deal with the right. It is better to understanding in this. Going absolutely, forward. absolutely right. And um, may I know how it is going to be on hands on? How uh, actually? I there is in lab. There would be lab individual instance for everyone. You would get a blank instance of lab. I'll show you how we would do from day zero. How it looks like on day zero, day one, day two. How to set up all devices. I'll show you. Then you need to do it by yourself for your own instance. Everyone. Okay. Uh, yes, we can and do good. control plane and data plane. All the right. configuration steps. Absolutely, from the you need to do. Nobody would do it for you. You need to do it yourself. Okay, fine. You can reach me in case anything needed, or you can even reach support team as well. Sure, sure. Thank you. Okay, Amit. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, Shrinivas. Shrinivas, I am seeing your question. If you are still there, hands-on experience. Yeah, I think yeah, we you, we talked about it, right? How about hands-on differences? So we will see what are the, how it looks like hands-on on, on uh, different, let's say, cloud devices or SD WAN or traditional, right? And troubleshooting as well. We will cover that. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Are you covering all the topic of SD WAN, CCMC, enterprise, right? One at a time, please. Sorry. What certification we go for after this course? You mean for SD WAN, right? I'll share with you the number, the certification number. That is enterprise SD WAN infrastructure is there. I'll share with you. The uh, number as well. Hello. Yes. Sir, are you providing any tasks during the labs? So different different tasks. Uh... So different tasks during lab, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. You know, see, topic wise, like when we are seeing the control connections, when we are setting the policies, yes, there would be task based things as well. Okay. If you have anything. If you have in your environment, you want to understand, feel free to share with me. I can help you understand that as well. As much I know, right? Uh, okay. yeah, after know, completing of the market about, may I know how was the market about ACI or SD WAN or only for the WAN infrastructure? Oh, uh, actually, I have seen the interviews uh, in this kind of things, ACI and main or WAN engineer, or cloud engineer, this kind of thing. So ACI is only for data center infrastructure. And SD WAN is for WAN side of things, so both are two different technologies. Uh, Amit, uh, we are go for interview preparation also, or just cover that? Yes, yes, I'll cover the. Uh, see, I'll cover in one session all the things that we need. What could be the questions? What could be the explanation for interview? And even during the course as well, I'll touch and I'll tell you that this could be an interview question or a key point, right? Uh, well, Amit, uh, my name okay, is. Okay, sir, it's good. Uh, hello. Yeah, my name. 
please please go uh, ahead. yeah so uh, i just wanted to know like uh, with the sd1 uh, course after this what is the next step like uh, is there any guidance provided like uh, for suppose we complete the sd1 training and then we mm -hmm. sit for the sd1 uh, certification so mm -hmm. is there any guidance provided on that and uh, what about any job assistance uh, is it provided or not um see my job is to you know help you understand about sd1 so the thing that you talked about it's a bit deviation from the course right for that uh, you can contact this uh, networking support team or administration team so they would be okay. guys i am sharing yes. a one whatsapp number you just guys can contact us we can help you with the whatever the queries you have related to uh, the course and all so i am sharing a details one minute okay thank you there is a uh, hand raised ramesh do you have anything So in the chat, I have sent you a, a one WhatsApp official number. So you can just uh, 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 initiate the chat and you will get the, all the details related to the course uh, on this uh, number. Please copy this link number, right? Because it would be Which lost after one? this Which session. Is that the one? Sorry, Srinivas. Is that the number? 2644, is that the number? No, 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 no. On chat, you see the the chat we sent to you uh, two numbers, so you can accordingly will follow whatever the details uh, is convenient to you. Yes, yes. Uh, the, that is uh, three last uh, three seven six nine. That is the one or what? Which number? Or, uh, anything, four, anything uh, you can follow. Both is our networking okay. number. Okay. Yeah. Aman, uh, sorry, somebody is saying. Yeah, go ahead, please. So, Prem, yes, sir, I was asking that tomorrow, tomorrow, today was a demo class, so from tomorrow the class will be functioning, right? Right. Tomorrow we have a one hour class and from next weekend we have a, a full-fledged classes like a 2.5 hours class on, a, on every Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, okay. Thank you. And even guys, uh, we recently we started with Versa also. So, if anybody is interested, we have Biptela as well as Versa as even. Oh, no. And it's, it's, it's available in combo, so you can approach, you can, uh, we will share you the details if anybody is interested. Okay. Amit, uh, uh, I have one question. Uh, uh, will, uh, will this course be enough if I go for the certification exam? Yes, more than enough. I would even share the things more than that you need for the certification. Right, because okay. I would concentrate from both certification perspective as well as the production, okay. how things look like in the actual environment, right? And uh, like uh, this will uh, will be working on uh, like we'll get a hands on on live environment, right? I mean live in the yes. sense of lab. Yes, yes, absolutely practical. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, within, uh, for the CTNC after in core, we are not uh, go for NRC. We can. Go for this program and yes. then that CCNP all certification, right? Right. right. And what okay. about? And uh, Viptela SD1 is separate. Uh, uh, somebody asked, uh, telling or it's included in this? You mean in which certification? Uh, someone asked that, uh, told that Viptela SD1 is also included uh, in this course or it's uh, some other course? So it's this is for the Viptela only, guys. Viptela and we only. have a parallelly, we are running one more batch that is for the Bursa SD1. Okay. So this is the lab. Well, I, I, I hope you can see my screen. Yes. Yeah, so this is the SD1 lab. When somebody is enrolling, he's getting access to this and uh, and even this is Atul sir, uh, sorry, uh, Amit sir, uh, uh, lab only. So he is he's always when he's delivering a batches, he's delivering on this particular lab. So you can see here different devices, controller, end devices, van links, right? Firewall connected. So you would get this you know empty instance dedicated instance for everyone you would get this similar lab to work on same topology even if you want i can customize a topology for you if you need customized topology yes guys uh, 
अमित सर ये जो एस डी वैन है ये मल्टीपल है या सिंगल है थोड़ा इलेबोरेट जैसे विपटेला अलग है और जो सर okay. बता रहे हैं दूसरा Viptela SD van was a company right who was working individually then Cisco took over because SD van market was growing in so Cisco or overtook this Viptela company right then it was named as Cisco SD van right and Versa is different company who is also providing SD van services similar to Viptela Versa was also developing their own SD van now Versa SD van is peer to Cisco SD van both are two different flavors of SD van but the concept is same it's just how they are implemented they, there is different way of implementation but concept is same like separating control plane data plane and management plane okay. versa is also implied on uh, cisco right. device or some other device no 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 versa is is a different thing different vendor so these these sd van flavors they are not compatible to each other okay you can this, uh, cisco sd van like uh, is the yeah cisco dependent or it's running in, in huawei so, and other device also no no only cisco routers so on cisco routers as well as on virtual machines we will talk about it in detail on what all platforms cisco sd wan can be run so you can you you may have cisco hardware you may have virtual machine in your own environment or on cloud on that virtual machine again you need cisco image virtual router image okay uh, it means it's vendor dependent yes you can say it is proprietary okay uh, is there any sd wan which independent of one no 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 okay 48 what about 48 sd wan for the router sd wan so is a hard actually uh both are they also providing sd wan services Yes, for see, I I know only Cisco and Versa is having scalable SD WAN services. Other all vendors, I feel like Fortinet, Silver Peak, right, Aviatrix, Nokia Nuage, they are not as much scalable as is Cisco. The reason seventy percent of market is already captured by Cisco, right? Already seventy percent of customers they are running Cisco routers or they are comfortable on Cisco routers, right? so it is the only reason why other vendors are not having that much market capture as cisco has when we say cisco juniper is also covered in this right Or juniper this versa is flavor of juniper vendor versa is human oh okay got it versa i think but jennifer okay fine hello yes Uh, are you getting my voice? This is Amit calling yes. from UP. Yes, uh, Amit. Amit, sorry. Today, today is the first class. I, I think so. Uh, as according to my information. Yes. Was it given? Yes. Today is the first class. Yes. And uh, this class is also going to be recorded, right? Yes. Okay. And timing is the same of every Saturday, Sunday, which is eleven uh, to one uh, one p.m. Right. Every Saturday, 